Ever wondered about those strange sequences of letters and numbers that radio enthusiasts worldwide use to identify themselves? This is more than just a curious code, it's an amateur radio call sign, a unique identifier, a badge of honor, and sometimes a riddle wrapped in an enigma. These call signs aren't just random assortments of characters, they tell a story, bearing significance in the grand scheme of global communication. So ready to unravel this mystery? Stick around as we delve into the intriguing world of amateur radio call signs. In the world of radio, your identity is not your name, but a unique combination of letters and numbers known as a call sign. Imagine for a moment a world where everyone uses a secret code to identify themselves. In this world, your name is replaced by a unique combination of letters and numbers. This isn't a plot out of a spy novel, but the real vibrant world of amateur radio. Your call sign, akin to a passport, is your unique identity in this global community. So what does an amateur radio call sign look like? It's typically a combination of a prefix, call area, and suffix. The prefix and suffix are often letters, while the call area is usually a number. The prefix can offer clues about your geographic location, as it is generally assigned by the International Telecommunication Union, or ITU, to different countries. The call area, on the other hand, often signifies a specific region within that country, while the suffix is unique to you, the operator. Let's take an example, W1AW. Here, W is the prefix assigned by the ITU to the United States. The 1 is the call area indicating a specific region within the U.S. and A.W. is the unique suffix. Together they form a call sign that is one of a kind in the entire world. The ITU, a specialized agency of the United Nations, plays a crucial role in this process. They assign different prefix blocks to countries around the world, which then get further divided among amateur radio operators. It's a massive, intricate system that allows millions of operators to communicate without confusion or overlap. In the bustling world of amateur radio communication, your call sign is more than just a name. It's a testament to your skills, your location, and your unique place in a network that spans the globe. It's a badge of honor, a mark of distinction and a passport to an international community of enthusiasts. With millions of amateur radio operators worldwide, each call sign is a unique identifier in a massive global network. So why do these call signs matter so much to radio enthusiasts? Well, let's dive into that. Call signs in amateur radio are far more than just fancy nicknames. They are, in fact, the very backbone of the amateur radio community serving multiple purposes. For starters, they act as a unique identifier, much like your social security number or passport. Each call sign is a unique code that points directly to the operator, and it also provides a hint about the operator's home country. This is because the initial characters of a call sign are often allocated based on geographical location. So, in a way, your call sign is a little like your home address, but for the airwaves. But call signs aren't just about identification, they're also crucial for communication during emergencies. In times of crisis, when traditional communication networks might fail, amateur radio operators often step in to fill the gap. Their call signs enable them to quickly establish contact and coordinate relief efforts. It's like having a direct line to help no matter where you are in the world. Moreover, call signs promote international goodwill. They are the foundation of friendships formed across borders, fostering a sense of global community among radio enthusiasts. When an operator hears a foreign call sign, it's an invitation to reach out, to learn about a different culture, and to expand their horizons. It's a reminder that we're all connected, even if we're thousands of miles apart. Lastly, call signs can reflect an operator's achievements. Special event call signs, for example, are often issued to commemorate significant events or milestones in the world of amateur radio. Attaining one of these is a mark of prestige, a testament to an operator's skill and dedication. So, in a sense, a call sign can also be a badge of honor among peers. In essence, a call sign is more than just a string of characters. It's a badge of honor, a lifeline, and a passport to a global community. So, the next time you hear a call sign crackling over the airwaves, remember the vital role it plays in this extraordinary hobby that brings people together from all corners of the globe. Now that we've understood the significance of call signs, let's travel the airwaves and explore some examples from around the globe. 
Call signs are as diverse as the people who use them, and they each carry the unique stamp of their country of origin. For example, M or G at the start of a call sign indicates a radio station in the United Kingdom, while K, N, W or A, A to A, L are reserved for the United States. Over in Japan, you'll hear J, A to J, S, and in Australia, it's V, K. But it doesn't stop there. The world of amateur radio is vast, and so is the range of call signs. ZS will connect you with a South African operator. VE is for Canada, and LU stands for Argentina. These prefixes are more than just random letters. They are virtual passports, signifying the country of origin and allowing for immediate recognition among operators worldwide. And then, there are those rare and unusual call signs that become the stuff of legend in the hobby. These can be call signs with interesting letter combinations or those associated with remote or rarely activated locations. They are highly sought after, turning the pursuit into a thrilling chase for many radio enthusiasts. So, whether it's a routine check-in or a once-in-a-lifetime contact, each interaction is a new adventure, a fresh connection, a different story. From A to Z, each call sign tells a story, making the amateur radio world a fascinating place to explore. So next time you hear a call sign on the airwaves, remember it's not just an identifier, it's a story waiting to be discovered. Each unique sequence of letters and numbers carries with it a tale of passion, commitment, and a shared love for the world of radio. But it's not just about the call signs you hear, it's about the ones you send out into the ether, your own unique identifier that becomes a part of this global narrative. Imagine the thrill of making contact with a fellow radio enthusiast halfway across the globe, their call sign crackling through the static, a testament to the power of communication and connection. This is the essence of amateur radio, the world literally at your fingertips, each call sign a door to a different culture, a different experience, a different story. With your very own call sign, you're not just a listener, you're a part of the story, connected to a vast network of enthusiasts around the world.